Hi, today we're just going to show a quick video on testing a direct injection petrol injectors on the Carbon Zap GD1R uh, test bench. This is just our own older injector tester for standard injectors. Um, you can also do some direct injection injectors with this type of test bench, but not the piezo direct injectors. But testing any direct injection injector on this type of test bench will only pressurize up to 10 bar and as direct injection injectors can be up to 200 bar you're only checking the, the volumes out and uh, you can check volumes and leakage tests and all that but when you're doing the, the nozzle leakage test again you're, you can only maximum can pressurize it to 10 bar and then for the volumes you're only comparing them to one another so it's only like a odd one out test um, whereas with this type of bench uh, this is capable of pressures up to 300 bar so when we put in the part number of the injector it'll know what pressure to pressurize it to so for example the VAG one can be up to 140 bar and so on so it's testing the injector according to a test plan. So we put in the part number and there's a test plan built into the software for um, say leakage tests, volume tests at, all, uh, at, at, at different stages. So, so we'll go ahead and just, um, we have this one, this, uh, it's a BMW injector, piezo injector. Um, we have the part number keyed in already. So as you can see, it has all, all the popular direct injectors in the database so you just put in the part number and start filtering through it so anyway we go on here and go start so we can put in the customer name company license plate phone number email and so on but i won't do any of in this this case serial number for these injectors we normally put in the injector the code and the injector this is just so at the end when we're printing the report we can know which injector is which we can identify the injectors after. So first of all it's going to do uh, three steps of a static low pressure test. So this is basically checking for leaks and all to make sure we connect it upright. But also if the injector is badly leaking or the nozzle is leaking, test it here. So we're starting now as you see the pressure starting off quite low. I'm going to build it up gradually. Just check all our hoses for leaks and everything. It's okay. So it's gone up to 42 bar. It's hard to see this through the phone, but I can see that the nozzle slightly leaking as well so it's not even going on to the next any of the next steps because it's detecting it, it the injector is leaking the nozzle is leaking so you can see injector leaking CFL and you have a red X in it it's after failing this test so now we're just going to go on um, that last injector then was um, leaking so we're just going to go on and test it test the next one just uh, the part number in again Connect it up, all tighten up, start, we leave that blank for now. Five, six, nine, two, three, two. Five, six, nine, two, three, two. Just putting in the coding of that injector. That'll just to help us to identify which injector is which when we're printing off the reports after. Start. So first, again, it's going to do the leak test to, um, so we can check the fuel lines and everything for leaks before the test starts. So it's gradually driving up the pressure. So in step one of three, 70 bar. And this one doesn't seem to be leaking. So imagine it's going to go on then and do all the other tests. So now it's doing step two or three, static high pressure test. One 
hundred. And for the leak test, we don't have to just we don't we can watch to see if it's dribbling, but also it measures so it'll automatically pick up if it's leaking or not. We don't we don't have to watch it. In that case. Turned up to two and over two hundred bar a moment ago. So now it's uh, past the league test and um, these are all the different tests here that we can select on the side that it's going to do. So now we can pick the test that we want it to do. So we're going to select this one as well. That's going to do a actuator capacitance test, nozzle leakage test, dynamic volume metering test at all these different levels or stages. And then the RSP is a nozzle response test, but um, we can't do the nozzle response test at the same time with these, because you have to fit a different sensor for doing the nozzle response. This one, you have to remove the, this guy. So we can leave the nozzle response test off. Go start. So it's performing the electrical test first. Now it's gone on to the next test. All these different tests then are color coded so if it comes up red it's fail yellow may need attention green good and blue is perfect so we we don't have to stand here and watch every test because um it can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to test each injector so as this machine is fully automatic we can just leave it at it now and go away and do all our work and come back to it at the end and if you give us a report then a report of all the test steps that it's performed here. We can see here also when it's doing this uh, nozzle leakage test, the pressure is up to 207 bar. So now <clears throat> we just turn down the volume here because it's uh, quite noisy when it's doing these tests. So here we see the leak test uh, is finished and it automatically moved on to the volume test IVM TP1. Again, this will take a few minutes so we won't um, show the full thing. So again now after a few minutes it uh, has moved on to IVM TP2 <clears throat> and as it's completing the IVM TP2 you see just before it skipped to 3 it was showing blue and uh, blue was if we were watching it as it's testing and we can see if it's passing each test or not. So <clears throat> now it's gone on to IVM TP3. And again, we won't show the full test because there's another five, five minutes left in this. So now we've just come back to it here. It's after completing all these different tests. And on here, the test ended. Do you want to create a report? Yes. So here we have a report. We can scroll through it here. And... Uh, as you can see it's after passing all these tests uh, then we can save it to USB share so 
so we can email it or so on. We're just going to print it off. So here then we have all the four injectors tested and printed off with him. You can see this one is a pass with green and blues. Blue is perfect, green is, is good. Um, red is a fail and I think yellow needs attention. This one is perfect. And this one failed the, the leak test at the start. So the, when we look check the nozzle is dribbling on this one. So that's about it then, uh, we're just going on then for our other injectors to test here today. Um, next set we're doing is over VW and for testing some other types and brands of injectors you need different adapters to mount it in the, in the test bench. And some of the adapters we stock but there's many different types available for all the different types of GDI injectors and again as we're saying in the database, 06H906036G, 06H906, 06H906, yeah, so you actually have to key in the dot, so 06H906036G, so as you can see it has huge range in the database so this is the one we're going to test so that's about it um, so we, we can supply these the carbon zap petrol injector test benches <coughs> the GDI ones and the <coughs> standard ones there are several different machines there's um, one for mounting one injector at a time four at a time and so on um, if you go online to our website you can see the different benches we stock or if you go to Carbon Zap's website, you can download this catalogue, which has all their, all their products in it. Okay, thanks for watching.